Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to use Prezi or Prezi Tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So you might be wondering, how do you start using Prezi? Well, Prezi is a great platform. So if you're looking to create presentations, infographics, or even creating videos, well, Prezi is a great tool that you could use online. Now in this case, how do we actually start using Prezi? Well, first thing that we want to do here is we need to open up any browser and we need to go to their website. So in this case, I've already opened up a browser here and I've already opened up the website for Prezi, which is Prezi.com. Now from here, first thing you'll see is a few information about Prezi here. So you could basically create presentations. So that's the basic thing that you could do here in Prezi, but they also have different uh, types of uses here. So whether you're a business or a student or for educators, or like for example, you're a teacher and you want to create interactive presentations or beautiful presentations for a class, well, Prezi is a great tool that you could use. Now, also, I believe they also added Prezi AI, which is an AI tool that will help you create your presentations. Now, in this case, there are a lot of information uh, that you could basically uh, see here. So, for example, these are the associate companies or brands that is uh, in partner with Prezi. So, currently, we have Fujitsu, Sony, TED, UNICEF, UCLA, and a lot more. So, it means that Prezi is a great, is a trusted platform and is a platform that is trusted by other brands as well. Now, you might be wondering how much does Prezi cost? So at the top section here, if you click on pricing here, you should be able to see the pricing that they have. Like for example, they have standard here, which is only for personal use, but they also have the plus here, which is for expert visual communicators. Premium is for business professionals. So depending on what plan that you want to use here, they have a, uh, a different uh, cost on it. Now, for example, standard is around $5 a month, plus is $12 a month, and premium is $16 a month. Now, depending on what plan you use here, there are different things that you can do. Like, for example, you could basically uh, do the presentation recording only on the plus and premium. So, you won't be able to do this specific feature on the standard plan only. But the great thing about here is with the standard plan, you could basically do all of the basic things that you could do in Prezi. So if you want to start using Prezi here, or if you just want to start uh, having or start using it as a trial, what we need to do here is just click on start your free trial here. And what we need to do is we need to just basically fill out all the necessary details. So that includes your first name, last name, email, password, your occup occupation here, your department, and you have to certify that you're at least 13 years old when you actually create your account here. Now, also, once you've done this, it's going to redirect you to another page where it's going to ask you to fill out well, any of the details that I acquired, like for example, your card details, just a placeholder in case you want to start using the service. But in this case, once you're sure, what we need to do here is just basically complete the sign-up process. But since I already created my account, we want to go ahead and just log in. So let me just log in. So in here, this is the main dashboard currently on Prezi. So currently we are in the all project section. So what we need to do first here is we first have to basically familiarize yourself on what sections or tabs that we could visit here. Like all projects from the name itself is where, where all the projects is located. So if you created any presentations, videos, or infographics is where you'll find them. Now here, presentations from the name itself is where you'll be able to see your presentations. So if you want to also create from template or start from scratch or even convert a PowerPoint, this is where you'll be able to do it. Now also video here and as well as infographics. So also in the video section, you can basically create video of presentations if you want that or import a PowerPoint to video. Now here, library is where you'll be able to see your collections or your presentations and a lot more. And trash is where you'll be able to see all of the recently deleted projects that you have right now. Now you could start using Prezi here via the website or via the, the Prezi app that you see here. So in this case, you will, you will be able to unlock features with the desktop app here. So in this case, if you want to use your desktop, but for now, since we just want to use or see the basics here, we want to use the website here. So in this case, what we need to do is we want to start creating a project. 
So depending on what you need here, you can create presentations, infographic, or video. But if you're looking forward to easily create or create a very fast presentation without taking much and just want to insert titles or desired details or you don't have the creati create creativity uh, possibilities or creativity uh, capabilities, then uh, you have to use or I would suggest you start using the templates here. So templates is a great way for you to make up if you do, if you're not artistic enough so they're going to give you different options on uh, what type of presentation you might want now in this case we have blue waves circle so as you can see these presentations are really cool because as you can see they are quite interactive and they actually has animations on it now in this case maybe we want to use the blue wave temp template here let's go ahead and open it up and from here we could go ahead and start using it now, in this case, first things first, it's going to ask you if you really want to use the template. So if you're sure, just click on the use the template once it actually goes up. Now, once you hit on the use the template button, it's going to ask you what is the title of your presentation. So in this case, maybe you want to say this is a sample presentation. So you also have to choose whether this presentation can be uh, used by anyone or only to people that you want to share with. So in this case, if you choose the people we share it, you have to start or you need to start the uh, free trial here. So just click on start your free trial or if you want to buy or start using their uh, basically their services, it's going to be three months of build annually. But in this case, we only want to use the anyone on the web and just hit on continue. Now, once you've done that, it's going to reload the editor page or the editor for Prezi. So let's just wait for it to load up. So this is the editor for Prezi. So using Prezi is actually pretty easy if you're going to ask me because using it is actually pretty simple. So how do you actually start using it? So first things first is we want to basically determine how do we actually navigate around Prezi. Well, we are currently in the overview uh, section here wherein you'll be able to see the overview of the whole presentation itself. So we have different sections here. So if you click on the one section here, you'll be redirected to the specific frame here wherein you'll be able to edit the text. So if you double click on it, you'll be able to edit the text and even change the title formatting here if it's title, subtitle, body, or an even change the uh, font for it. Now also the... Uh, the font size on the text itself so you can, you can even change the color or even the fill color here or add links if you want to as well so this one is pretty basic so if you're familiar using word or even uh powerpoint uh you'll be able to edit it really, really easily now in this case if you add if you want to add like media or uh, pictures or text shapes story blocks and a lot more you can go ahead and click on media here and choose image and you'll be able to start adding images so they actually have or host free images here so if you want to add those just click on it but if you want to add your own image what we need to do is just click on the upload button here that you see at the top right of your screen so let's just add this image here and as you can see, we were able to add it. Now from here on, so since we added this uh, photo here, it's going to appear on this specific frame here. Now, when we go to the second frame here, you should be able to be uh, animated or you should be able to see the second frame here. Let's go ahead and click on it so that we'll be able to see it. So let's go to our third frame here. As you can see, this is the third frame. And if you want to go to fourth frame, just click on it. Now, same thing. So if you want to edit some aspects into it, you just need to click on it and you'll be able to edit that. Like for example, there's an image I've just selected. So I could go ahead and change a few things. I could even resize it, add links, duplicate it, add colors and replace the image itself if you're not satisfied with the image now same thing uh, what we need to do is double click on the text section here and you'll be able to edit it as you can see right now double click on it and you'll be able to edit that specific text now in here like for example if you want to add another frame for your uh, let's say in your presentation so what we need to do here is we just need to go back to overview here so we'll be able to see the whole thing on our our workspace here so what we need to do is we just need to click on the frame section here and you'll be able to add a frame so maybe we want to add a frame here just to give an example so just click on this section here and we want to go ahead and resize our frame 
So let's just resize it a bit so it's a lot smaller since it's really big. And once you've done that, you should be able to uh, basically adjust uh, a few things. So for example, we want to delete this image. Uh, if you want to change the text, just double click on it. As you can see, you will be, you will be able to change it, even delete it. If you want to, so let's say we want to say test. And once you've done that, you should be able to add those sections. Now, also, if you want to scroll down a bit here, you should be able to see your zoom to frame option here. So if you want to delete that, just click on the tree dotted icon here and you should be able to see the delete option. So if you want to edit the sound set as starting point, so if this is the starting point for a presentation and even add presentation, a presenter notes as well. Now, in this case, as you can see, when we go back into the previous frame, which is 14, it's going to be animated there. Just the whole overview here. Also, the 13 here, if you click on it, it's going to give you that specific frame. But going to 15 or the 15 frame here, it's going to animate us into that specific frame. So yeah, so using it is actually pretty easy. So those are the basics on using it. Now, once you're done, and you want to share this to other people, what we need to do is just click on the percent option here and you have the start present, uh, presentation and presenter view or you could, you could even record as a video. Now in this case, if you want to see, view the presenter, presenter view here, just click on it. It's going to load up that UI. But before you'll be able to see the presente, a presenter uh, UI here, you need to start, again, you need to start your free trial here. Now, also, if you want to view your uh, uh, story, if you want to start presentation, just click on it and you have the percent with modern mark. So this is going to be free. Just click on percent. It's going to start pressing presenting that. And as you can see, when you click on the next button, it's going to animate us to that next section, next section again, next section and next section. So using it is actually pretty easy. If you're going to ask me, it just depends on how you use images, how you replace it, how you utilize the template itself. But yeah, so this one is actually pretty easy. So that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.